Hey YouTube, it's your favorite Adam Kara here, and I've been getting some comments recently that you guys have problems sleeping. So I did some research and I put together this list of nine sleeping tips that you probably didn't know. Number one, thinking. You spend around a third of your life sleeping. That's like 20 to 30 years of lying down in a dark room doing absolutely nothing. Just think of all the important things you could be doing instead of wasting your entire night there on that soft, flat surface. Okay, cut. Let me get something, I'll be back. Okay. What, what are you doing? You're gonna get fucking crumbs on the- Number two, avoid caffeinated beverages. Caffeine is a stimulant that keeps you awake and puts you on edge. But pumpkin spice lattes are back. It's not like you drink them all the time. Go ahead, drink yourself just this one time. Swan, you just want the coffee. It's not that hard to do. Just look at it like you want the coffee. At, I'm looking at it. Like, what do you, what do you, want, do you want me to do? You, like, it's you gotta, better. it's not that, you just have to make- Number three, reading. Taking a few minutes to read something before you go to bed relaxes the brain. You can read an article on your cell phone, a book from your iPad, or just Google random things on the internet. Like what's bigger, a dwarf or a chimpanzee? How many bananas would it take to reach the moon? Or what's that acid they used in that episode of Breaking Bad? Number 4. Maintain a regular sleep schedule. Go to bed at the same time every night. Except for tonight, because you've got that thing to take care of. It can't wait till morning. It's okay. You'll, like, sleep extra early tomorrow. That'll even things out, right? Okay, are you done fucking moving around? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Let's do it. God damn. Like, you're like the most jittery goddamn sleeper I've ever seen. I... That's just... That's how people sleep sometimes. No, they it's move. not how people sleep. You don't... You don't see the get... What? What good? the fuck is that? It's sleeping. That's how people no, sleep. No, people who sleep, shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. No, you you look what fucking the fuck weird. Do you want? No, fuck you, Stefan. You don't know how to fucking sleep. It's not that. There. That's how you fucking sleep, Stefan. That's how you fucking sleep. <coughs> Just gotta move that hair out right there. Just get that out of the. Oh, fucking god. Number 5. Prepare a bug out bag. Common items include bottled water, a flashlight, a burner phone, and a semi automatic USP with a 3 dot sight and a 13 round magazine. It's just in case. If you have one ready, then you won't need to worry about it. It's not like you'll really need to use it, but you know. Number 6. Keep a sleep diary. Keeping track of basic things like what time you went to bed, how long it takes to go to sleep, or even what you ate that night is incredibly tedious work, and maybe that'll make you feel sleepy. Number 7. Exercise. Exercising the joints hastens the reverse of rigor mortis. That way you can hide the body in more creative containers. Number 8. Burn your sleep diary. You wouldn't want the cops to find it. It conflicts with your alibi. And oh yeah, you also need to come up with an alibi. And number 9. Try a sound therapy machine. They work really well as the constant sounds distract you from the problems you've had that day, the mistakes you've made, or that incredible feeling of crushing guilt that just won't go away. Just an ordinary human You'll never see my name Within the Hall of Fame I'm just an ordinary human With an extraordinary love for you